Alright, welcome back to Final, Final Fantasy IV. Uh, did a little bit of grinding, not a super amount. Uh, ended up getting edged to level 42. Everybody else is like in their level level 50-ish. Yeah. Um, so let's con keep going up. Should be running into somebody special soon. Maybe? I don't know. Not sure how high we have to go. Or are we going low? I have no idea. No, we have to be going up. There we go. What? Edge. Father, mother. Thank goodness you're alright. And you. Come, Edge. Yes, come with us. With you? Where? To hell. Ha 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 ha. Edge, watch out. Yeah. So... Uh, this is a... Let's, uh... Shell... Everyone. And protect everyone. Um... We're going to steal from him. Uh, we're going to summon Dragon. Enemy has no items. No! Okay, um, let's steal from the mother, see if she has any items. Uh, we'll pray, uh, we'll attack the father. What did we steal? No items as well, okay. Summoning the Mist Dragon, how much damage does that do? Good chunk. Probably a poor choice to attack Rosa, because she doesn't take all that much magic damage. Uh, I'm not even sure who to focus on though. I guess the King first? I don't know. This fight isn't hard at all, if I remember correctly. Another dragon. I'm pretty sure if you kill one, you kill them both. I can't remember though. We'll find out. What's happened to you? Mother, father. They just have a lot of HP. Should be done here, at least after this wait or uh, turn of attacks here. Because we have Rydia using her summon too, which is going to do a ton of damage, 5,000-ish. And then Cecil attack and it's done, question mark? Nope. Um, I guess what we can do is a Libra. Kind of get an indication of what's going on. Oops, I attacked with Rydia when I meant to summon another dragon. Oh well. I don't think it tells us how much HP it has left, but it will tell us its weaknesses. It's me, your son.
Well, we'll just keep summoning Dragon. Start attacking the Queen now. Although... For some reason, I... Maybe this is just a time thing? I, no, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure once you kill one, you kill both. No, I don't remember. We are getting dialogue every periodically, so... Uh-oh. There we go. The king and queen regain lucidity. Edge, hear me while I can speak. We are no longer human. What we are has no right to live. Forgive us, Edge. We must depart now. Before the madness takes us again. Serve Eblin well, my son. No, don't go. Aw. Farewell, Edge. That's kind of sad, trying to go and rescue your parents. Mother, wait! And uh, find out that they've been turned into monsters. Poor Edgy. <laughs> Such cruelty. It's inhuman. Rubicante, for this. For this, you will pay! It was Luge who made Chimere of your parents. I shared no hand in his perversities. They shame me as they grieve you. Don't speak of shame! I respect men like you. Men with courage. But you are a slave to your emotions. And so will never know true strength. Such is the curse of men. You think our rage a weakness? Then let me show you how wrong you are! Flood and Blitz. You are an interesting one indeed. Such powers unleashed by anger alone. But they will not avail you. The frozen winds of Hell's Ninth Circle could not penetrate this cloak of flame I wear. Come, I will heal your wounds. Face me at full strength. Okay, so this fight I remember pretty well. He only casts Inferno when his cloak is open, and we can actually close his cloak by using uh, Edge's Steel ability, which is kind of silly, but uh, it is what it is. Let's shell everybody up here. See? And he closed his cloak. Beautiful! The thing is, is though, he's only weak to ice, I think, when his cloak is open, otherwise he absorbs, like, ice, water, and fire, or something along those lines. Uh, so it's kind of annoying, in that sense. Um, we'll just keep him on standby here, so in case his cloak opens up. Um, no, keep you on standby. He does counter with Fyra, but not a big deal. We can heal through that NP. All 
Probably should be using jump. It does double damage, so. There we go. Let's pray again so that we can keep giving Rydia some menas. So this is not a hard fight at all, as, as long as you know the mechanic of the kind of exploiting the cloak thing, because Inferno does really hurt. Um, so by doing this, we kind of negate that whole thing. And the thing is, he only counters physical attacks. Um, and I think it's only, he only counters it when his cloak is closed. And we won. That's it. Nice, easy, and quick. Oh look, Kane joined us again from his jump in the sky. And he leveled up. So did Rosa. Most interesting. You combine your strengths to overcome foes stronger than even yourselves. You are fine warriors indeed. Lord, Gob Lord Golbez himself will find you no easy opposition. I pray the day comes that we can fight each other again. I like Rubiconte. Rubicante. Mother, father, you can rest in peace now. Seneschal? Oh, we've come to aid you in your fight. Where is Rubicante? Lead us to him. It's already done. Oh, I should have expected no less of you. I was not alone. I had the aid of these warriors as well. I see. So these are the ones to whom we owe our thanks. So just who is this Golbez? He is a man gathering the crystals in hopes of opening a way to the moon, and he is Rubicante's master. He wants to go to the moon? The moon? The one in the night sky? A power is said to sleep there, one great enough to destroy the world. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Everything that's been done has been at this Golbez's command? It must not go unpunished. But your young highness, your people need you now. Eblin must be rebuilt. This isn't just about Eblin, it's about the whole world. I have to help stop them. Well then do be careful. Of course, leave this to me. Very well. We will do our best to protect Eblin in your absence. Please, take care of our young prince. May Shadow Hydra, your highness. And you. Alright, let's go get this Golbez. We came here for the crystals. Right, I knew that. Follow me. <laughs> um, alright, up we go. Okay. 
Oh look, a trap door. That's not good. How? We've fallen back to a subterranean level. Well, that's a good thing that, um, yeah, we don't. But, unfortunately, we have no choice. But we're in a different area of the tower now. We've not been in this area before, so. We will make do. Kinda neat though that like um, Rosa's prey pretty much gives Rydia enough MP now to summon every time, so it's pretty much unlimited summons now with uh, Rydia. Although I was using Quake instead of a summon just because it's faster and still does a ton of damage. Uh, elixir, woohoo! Egg. Uh, I don't really care, so we'll just kill it. It's faster than running away. And we did get one whole gill, so I mean, it, it was worth. Do you want to go this way or do you want to go the other way? I don't, I don't know which way to go, to be completely honest. I think they both have doors. Nope, just treasure on this side. Alright, let's see what we got in here. A high potion, not worth it, not worth. So we have to go back the way we came. Because we went all the way that way to get a high potion. Very, 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 very useful high potion, yes. <laughs> Doesn't even heal for much. I think it only heals for 500, the high potion. Uh, X potions, I think, heal for 1,000, which are a lot more useful. But even then, they're starting to be become less and less useful. Um... What is this? What's this? The enemy's latest airship? Alright, we can escape in this. But it's an enemy ship. Don't worry, I'm sure she'd rather be flown by us anyway. You don't suppose this could be a trap, do you? This beauty? Not a chance. Alright then, we'll call her Falcon. Oh, for... Quickly, we must get out of here. Let's see what you can do, Falcon. now got the best airship. Um, there's also a uh, place I think we can go here that we have not been. Um, can't fly over lava though apparently. I think there's a town or something that we haven't been to yet down here.
I just don't remember where it is. I think it might be in the bottom corner. Uh, well, what's this here? Nothing. All right. So let's go talk to the Dwarf King. See what he has to say. Um... Unless... Hold on. Before we do that. No, we can't fly behind it. Alright. Okay, let's go talk to the Dwarf King. Let him know that we don't have the crystals because of a trapdoor. But we have a new fancy airship. Oh, you've returned. I've been waiting. And what are the crystals? We failed. I see. Golbus has been hard at work attempting to acquire the last one. He is now trying to force open the sealed cave's entrance. It's only a matter of time before he succeeds. I was hoping you might go and remove the crystal before he does. Luca? Yes, father? Bring me your necklace. Here you go. Uh, this necklace, you see, is the key to the sealed cave. No one can pass through the entryway without it. Please, you must protect the final crystal. We will try. In the southwest. We can't fly over lava. Oh, is it this cave right here? Well, I guess we couldn't get there before. Um... Before we go there, though, is there anything here? I don't think so. All right. Yeah, because we came out somewhere around here, right? Or did we run up? I don't even remember now. It's got to be this cave, though, right? Hmm. All right, so we'll take a break here. Next time we'll head on into this cave. Um, and see if we can, uh, thwart Golbez, but I doubt that we can. Um, so as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.